Tragic details here. The body of a Portland mom who was missing for more than a week discovered in Skamania County. Then today, her fiance was arraigned in Portland on murder charges. And John French is accused of killing Jeannie Enyart. Her body found in the back seat of her missing car under a blanket. Now, court documents today revealed that law enforce, uh, enforcement found French's driver's license and wallet in the car. Lisa Balick live in downtown Portland and Lisa, her family was understandably very emotional today in court. Yeah, absolutely. Now, again, it was an arraignment. This case still has to go to grand jury, but the judge let the family speak out in court and it was overwhelming to hear. You need to look at me. Look at me, John. Why? You came to our home. We ate together. We played games together. You swore at me on how much you loved her. The mother of Jeannie Enyart, one of many family members, sharing their grief with a man charged with killing her. She worked for hospice patients. She was the glue to this family. 47-year-old Jeannie Enyart was a beloved daughter, mother, sister, recent grandmother. She worked as a certified nursing assistant for many years, focused on hospice care. Today, her 33-year-old fiancé, John French, arraigned on charges of second-degree murder and abuse of a corpse. The last time they heard from her was Saturday, January 27th. She didn't show up for work on Monday. The family told me French said he didn't know where she was and didn't try and help find her. Her car found in a ditch in Skamania County. It was towed. The family searched the area where the car was found, then finally heard from law enforcement her body was found in the car. French arrested yesterday. I just want to call my mom. I just want to hear her voice. It's so hard for me. I can't believe she gave him everything. Police arrested French yesterday in front of the Northeast Portland home he had shared with Jeannie. He'll remain in jail without bail. And also in court documents released this afternoon, it says that law enforcement says that French was actually up in that area where the car was found, and he actually had a family member take him to the sheriff's office shortly after it crashed, trying to get that car back. They didn't release it to him because it wasn't his car. Again, more details coming out. We'll have more coming up tonight at 10 and 11 on COIN 6. By the way, he is due back in court next week, and once again, he's being held without bail. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Valick, COIN 6 News.